Welcome to the ABCD segment on BNN. My name is Eric Mitchell, and today we're going to welcome Mirta Rodriguez, who is the operations manager for the Citywide Boston Hispanic Center. Welcome, Mirta. Thank you, Eric. Thank you for the invitation. It's a pleasure. Uh, we're glad to have you. So we have you here finally, and so we're going to jump right in and say, talk to us about the Citywide Boston Hispanic Center. What is that? The Citywide Boston Hispanic Center is a center that wants to help everyone who comes in the door for a service. Mm -hmm. It's an organization that targets not only the Latino community, it targets everyone in the Boston area who's a low-income family or individual. Okay. And how long has the center been in operation? The center has been up in operations for about 25 years or more. Mm -hmm. And where is it located? The Boston Hispanic Center is located right now at 110 Claiborne Street in Dorchester. It's located next to the, Bo the Dorchester NSC. You provide a range of services, I would imagine. What are those things? We service um, the community by giving referrals for a food pantry, for ASOL classes, for computer classes. And we also do a lot of immigration services at our site. We do fuel assistance. We also help the youth apply for summer works. And we do civic classes for our immigration services. So of all of those things, what is, would you say is the most unique service that you guys are offering right now? Right now, our immigration services, it's unique. Um, we're trying to help the community that is in need, that been wanting to apply for citizenship services, but they didn't have the funding to do so. So we're now doing fee waivers to waive that fee, which right now it's $680 for an N-400 application. Mm -hmm. So that's um, a unique program. We're trying to expand it from another site that was doing immigration, but the waiting list was so long. So we just expanded to the Boston Hispanic Center. And so we'll come back and talk a little bit more about that, but are you also doing any special events? So you got a special program. How about special events? We do. Uh, we do lots of workshops for immigration. We do pre-registration, which is an event that the community could come in and see what we service for immigration. It's, it could be um, for a specific program. It could be for the petitions, for fee waivers, but also just to see what other services the Boston Hispanic Center offers. Okay. So it's like an info session. So you get an info session to kind of understand the full scope, almost like an introduction, and yes. then you get a chance. You can get more detail, Excellent. more. Uh, intensive services. After that, we'll do an individual um, sit down with a client to see what other services they need specifically for their families. And so who are the clients? So, you know, an average client, you know, what is their background and or the ideal client? We see a lot of Latinos um, from the Boston Hispanic Center, but at this point, we're expanding. So we're seeing lots of Caribbeans, Haitians. Um, it varies. Jamaican from people from Trinidad. So it's expanding. You mentioned a number of different languages. I would imagine you have to have staff who speak those languages. Yes, we we're, were fortunate enough this year to get interns. Um, we get interns um, Cajun Creole, Vietnamese, Spanish, English, and we're working on other areas like Chinese. How many families do you see? Last year we serviced about 1,300 families, and this year I believe the numbers are doubling. We're already seeing uh, over 200 clients for immigration only. That's besides all the referrals that we're doing. So I think this year we're, we hope to double that amount of number. Okay. So with your leadership, you're going to double that number? I hope so. Well, let's talk and about And what are the interns okay. and volunteers? So let's talk about your role. So uh, among the things that you're going to do, you're going to double you know, your membership and, and intake. So what exactly is your role? Are you the doubler? <laughs> Um, my role at the Boston Hispanic Center is I'm the operations manager. I oversee all the programs to make sure they're working, and I also like to go to the community to see who does what, who can we partner with, and what services the community is really asking for. Okay. And how long have you been at the center? Only one year, one year. but I've been with the agency for about 10 years. So I imagine you enjoy what you're doing at the agency, and specifically talk about what you enjoy. I love partnership and just seeing how people change and helping pe families in need, whether there is a bag of food because they're low income and they don't just don't have that, whether it's just information on how to do a tax return properly. Um, I love everything I do with the agency. You've talked about citizenship and immigration and the work that you do. You, you sound as if you have a very personal stake in it, you know, as if it's something near and dear to your heart. You know, why is that? I know the process of not being legal per se, not being able to say I'm a U.S. citizen and get the services. So I have a passion for that. I came when I was eight and through ABCD, I was able to get assistance to complete my application. So I've been there, done that. So I know how powerful it is to complete that application, to study for that test, because you have to study for, it's a history test and then a personal test. 
and then you have to go through the oath. So it's a very test. exciting. It's a history I test. So there's like 100 questions you have to study and memorize all of them because you don't know which one they're going to ask you. So it's a long process. So if we play Jeopardy with the history questions, you'd beat me? I will, yeah, I would definitely beat you. That's, that's, so that's, the, that's what makes it more interesting, um, the fact that when you live here and you were born here, you take it for granted. Yeah. So the people that me that came and you have to like sit there and decide to make this country be your country by studying and processing and going through the whole history test, it's really exciting. And then when you go through the oath, you see all these people with flags and saying, you know, I'm now you're a citizen, I can vote, I can get a better job. That's powerful. Talk more about that as, a, as an experience and about the obstacles that um, a family would face in trying to apply for citizenship or to get their citizenship. It's a long process. There's a lot of paperwork. You have to prove everywhere you work. You have to submit where you live for the past five years. All your children, even if they're dead, you need to submit all that information on the application. So and you have to list all the travel history. If you've ever been arrested, you have to submit all that information. So it's a process. There's clients that um, want to apply for citizenship, but we, beforehand, we talk to a lawyer to make sure that if they had any criminal history, they're safe to apply. Because if you had any history in the past and you apply for you a citizen, you can now be deported. So we were in contact with the lawyer just to make sure that it's safe for the client to apply because it's a long process and we don't want to hurt anyone in this process. It's mm -hmm. very intense. And how do you help people overcome those obstacles? We help them by motivating them. You know, we empower, we make sure they're safe to apply, so we talk to a lawyer. We also do the fee waiver, which is a lot, in a lot of cases, people just can't afford to pay the fee for the N-400 application because it's $680. And we're talking wow. about low-income families that cannot afford to have three or four children and pay for that fee for each child. Right. So the fee waiver is it's the best way that we can help at this moment. Do you have to see a lawyer? Are you a lawyer? No, nope, but we are accredited. You're we accredited. just became accredited through immigration, so I can legally represent anyone at immigration. I can legally translate any document. You basically can help them yes. through the process. We can. And during that process, you can offer them, if I recall what you said, a range of other services that yes. ABCD either has at your site or somewhere else across the city. That's correct. We'll see what the client needs besides immigration. And if we have to refer out, we'll call personally the other site and recommend for any additional services the client needs. I want to thank you for coming on. I think, you know, all that I've learned and all that you've talked about for the audience is very helpful. Immigration is obviously a very powerful um, issue and it's a very current issue. And so I imagine we probably have to have you come back and talk about how many families that you've had on. And so I'm offered that invitation. I hope you'll thank come. Thank you. I'll be glad to come back to provide more information. Thank excellent. you for the invitation. Uh, excellent. So with that, you know, we will look forward to you next time. Uh, my name is Eric Mitchell. This is the ABCD segment on BNN. If you want more information about the Boston Hispanic Center, the website is www.bostonabcd.org. Again, my name is Eric Mitchell. Until next time.